Action Against Crime. They are using elbow grease and sweat to dramatically transform the community. News Channel 3's Reed Andrews has the story new at 5.30. Cutting grass for free in the heat is not how most people would choose to enjoy the first day of summer. But for Treva Cooper Whiteley, mowing Harbor North Park in Chesapeake is a blessing. Addicted to crack cocaine for 12 years, she recovered with the help of Emanuel Baptist Church. Now she's working with other faith based groups to spruce up rundown parts of Chesapeake. I used to hang in areas like this. And, um,. You know, I just want to give back because so many have given to me and want to give back to the ones that are struggling as I was. It's part of the Serve the City campaign sponsored by the Chesapeake Police Department and the FBI. In its fourth year, volunteers donate a week to work on houses, and that's translated to an 88% drop in crime. We see the, the neighborhood getting a little better looking physically, and I, I believe a lot of the people are taking more pride in their home. And as the program has grown over the last three years, more people are getting involved in the community after receiving the help and helping others. <laughs> Angela Artis's house was a major project last year. Now she's using it as a rest stop for any tired workers. It's just a total blessing. Uh, we don't know what we do without them every year. The drop in crime isn't only from fixed up homes. Police use the week to strengthen their relationships with residents, going door to door and getting to know the people they protect. They no longer see us necessarily as an occupying force or as those people come in only when something goes wrong. They know I'm going to call and say, hey, look, something looks wrong around here on the corner. With better homes, people like artists are taking more pride in their neighborhood, giving police valuable allies as they try to weed out crime. 